Hi, Gary here. You know, when you were dating a long time ago and somebody said, well, where were you born? What's your date of birth? Those two questions now, with the way information gets around, you never, I really use that word, want to answer. That's according to Frank Abick now, and you might recognize that name. He was the gentleman that was played by Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie Catch Me If You Can and became the cyber expert for the FBI and so forth. And he says, if you put that information on the internet through any of your social media connections, whatever you have, there's a 98% chance you're gonna have the bad guys steal your identity. Interesting. So then he goes on to say, what are the five rules that you should abide by when you're, when you're dealing with identity theft in those related areas? Number one, Protect your identity. You say, well, what does that mean? Well, it's not unusual for many different services to ask information beyond what they need. Your social security number, again, your date of birth, everything else when it's not relevant. It has nothing to do with what the services or whatever they have to do, and it's a way to scam you to get that information. So don't answer it. Refuse to answer it. Uh, I do this all the time when I go to places, and I get a lot of bad reaction to it, but I'm not going to give somebody my personal information. Number two, Secure your finances. Now here's he's talking about where you have people in my industry who are saying things are guaranteed and that uh, you'll, you're gonna double your money and all these other things and they're quick scam con artists that are gonna take your money from you. So he's saying, yes, be careful of that. Nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is what it seems to be. Just make sure you're careful with your money. Number three, preserve your digital presence. This is where you take very important documentation and don't put it online. Instead, you're keeping it safeguarded in a safe deposit box or somewhere else because that information could then be hacked in on the cloud or anywhere else. Uh, number four, safeguard your home and hearth. Now this is interesting, and this probably happens to you, it happens to me. You'll get a phone call, and it'll be a number you don't recognize, or it's unknown. If you do answer it, which normally you should not, but if you do, do not speak at all and listen. And most times it'll automatic recording or someone will hang up the phone. The reason you don't speak is they'll get your voice and cobble together your voice to use it against you in a variety of ways to steal your identity. So just don't do it. Number five, shelter your heart. Now it's interesting coming from Frank, but what he's basically saying is if you're online on dating apps or any of these other kinds of social interactions, verify this person because they could basically be representing themselves as somebody who they're not. And many bad things can come out of that by pulling your heartstrings. So make sure you can verify the claims that they're making. Go online and research to make sure that is, in tr is true who they are uh, on that. Now, we did a blog post on this a while ago, we'll have a connection to it because he did a long presentation. There's about a 10 minute segment where he covers more about identity theft and you might want to know more about that. So please watch this blog and um, you'll get a little more about how this all works. So until next time, enjoy.